This video is one of the most awaited video of this channel because this video is for all of the Amazon sellers, beginner, intermediate or advanced. Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through completely A to Z, like how you can actually use Seller Central. Because I have seen many of the sellers who are actually selling on Amazon, but they don't know some of the main feature of the Seller Central, like how to do this and how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to completely walk you through step by step for every option and feature of Seller Central. Like from where you can list the product, where you can check the sales, where you can check the orders, where you can check the payments, from where you can check or change account setting, from where you can just create campaign, monitor campaign, and each and everything you need to know about Seller Central. So no matter you're a beginner seller or an intermediate seller, you must watch this video to learn some hidden things about the Seller Central. And on the other hand, if you're a complete beginner and you want to start selling on Amazon and you want to get familiar with the interface of Amazon Seller Central then this video is also for you. So keep on watching this video till the end because this video is going to be super super important and I'm going to be showing you each and everything step by step in detail. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, this is Amazon Seller Central. So now I'm going to start explaining you the whole interface. So on the top bar, you can see that this is the Amazon logo. And if you click on this logo, wherever you are, you will be land on this main home page. So this is the main home page and this is the search bar. So if you are having any question, if you want to search something, so you can just type that here and you can just search in the search bar. And on the right side, this is the message icon. So for example, if your buyer is having a complaint about your product or your buyer want to discuss something with you regarding your product or order, so that buyer message will be shown here. So this is basically an inbox between you and the buyer. And now after that, you can see the setting button. So this is basically a setting buttons where you can see multiple options like account info, login settings, and user permission and logout. So basically these four options are important. Account info, shipping setting, user permission and logout. So simply if you click on logout, your account will be logout. User permission, for example, you want to add an employee in your account and you want them to manage some tasks for you, to edit listing for you, to check the sales for you, to create a sales report for you, or you want to add your accountant in your seller center who can actually manage your accounting and taxes, or you want to add any digital marketer who can actually run advertising campaign for you. You can just add anyone on your seller center from this user permission option. So now go on to the shipping setting. So in this feature, you can just set your shipping setting like FBA shipping setting. For example, you are doing SBM and you are shipping by yourself. So you can just put the details about your partner carrier, like how much time it will take you to ship and which mode you are using for shipping and so on. If you're using FBA, so the same for that. You can just change any shipping setting from this option. And then at last in the account info, you can just add your passport, ID, driving license, name, account name, bank info, credit card, the deposit method and the withdrawal method here. So all the activities of your account like where you get paid and from which debit or credit card you're gonna pay to the Amazon advertising campaign. So all of that stuff happen at account info tab. So I'm just giving you the overview of all of these options. I'm not opening them one by one because if I start opening them so that video will be maybe two or three or maybe five hours. So that's why I'm just giving you the overview of all of these options. And at last, if you want to change the language here, you can just change the language from here. And that's it for the navigation part. Now move on to the left part, which is these three dots. So if you click on these three dots, then all the control of your seller central of sales, adding product, getting payments and managing advertising campaign will be here. So in this first option catalog, you can just add product. So basically this first option is the most important option and all of other options are secondary. So if you want to add a new product, no matter that is a private label product or a branded product, you can just click on this add product and then you can just add the product from here. And if you want to know the step by step process how to add a product, you can find a comprehensive video on this topic on my channel in the same playlist. You can just go there, watch that video to add your product. Because in this video, I'm just giving you the overview, like from where you can do what. So if you click on this add product, you can just add product. And then if you want to make any other changes in your product, like you want to change the description, you want to add images, EBC content or video on your product listing, then you can do all of that from here. 
like upload images, upload and manage video, improve listing quality and so on. So everything regarding your listing, like adding your listing and modifying your listing, you will be able to do from this catalog tab. And now move on to the second tab, which is inventory tab. So you can see that the first option is manage all inventory and then other options are FB inventory and inventory planning. So FB inventory mean, for example, you are doing FBM for some product and FBA for some product. So FBM mean when you get the order, you will ship that product by yourself to the customer. And FBA means you will send the stock of the whole inventory to the Amazon FBA warehouse. And when you get the order, so that Amazon FBA warehouse will ship that product for you to your customer. So all of the detail about all of your products, you will get in the manage all inventory tab. If you click on this, so you will be able to see all of those products which are listed on your Amazon account and if you click on this FB inventory you will be able to see only those inventory for which you have just sent the inventory to the Amazon FBA warehouse so in this shipment section you will be able to track all of those shipment which we have sent in the past to the Amazon FBA warehouse for example you are having five products and you are sending 500 units of each products every month to the Amazon FBA warehouse so the data of all of those shipment like all of those shipment which are in transit which are in receiving which are received and which were received in the past so all of the history of the data all of the history of all of those units of inventory which you have sent to Amazon FBA warehouse in past you will be able to find all of those data into this shipment tab so now move on to the third tab which is pricing so this is not a very important tab like this is a pricing tab so here you can just check and change the pricing of all of your products so now we want to the fourth tab which is order tab so this tab is basically important because in manage order you can just find and check all of those orders like for example you can just check the yesterday order today order three day order seven day order or maybe 30 days order like if you want to know like in past 180 days how many order i got in past one year how many order i got so all of those detail of the time and date and value of that order you can just find from this manage order section and now the second option of this section is also important which is create mcf order that means multi-channel fulfillment for example you are selling a product on amazon and that is your private label product and you list the same product on shopify ebay etsy walmart or any other website so for example if you want to ship all of those orders which you are getting from all of those websites from amazon fba warehouse so for that you can just use this mca feature so for example you are having a posture corrected product and you got a sale from hc and your inventory or your stock is at amazon fba warehouse and you want amazon to ship your hc customer so for that you can just take the help of this mcf order feature so now the most important part which is advertising here you can see the first tab which is campaign manager so if you click on this campaign manager so that will be the ppc dashboard for you where you can just create manage or update the campaign the advertising campaign which you will use to bring traffic to your listing and start getting sales for example you launch a product today and this is the first day of your product you are having no sales and no reviews so in that case you must need to launch a campaign of your product to amazon and you put some money into that campaign like you will give money to amazon and say to amazon that hey this is my new product please show my product to some buyer so they can purchase my product and i can start getting some sales some ranking and some reviews so all of the advertising stuff you will be able to manage on this advertising tab you can see that here you can create campaign here you can just create a plus content here you can just create some deals coupons promotion and all of that like if you want to make a deal if you want to give a discount to your customer five percent discount coupon or buy one get one free so all of the advertising and marketing stuff you can just do on this tab so now move on to the next tab which is stores so this is basically a store feature like if you are a brand registered seller and you are having a trademark of your brand so you can actually make your customer store on Amazon like for example your brand name is ABC so that store will be amazon.com slash store slash ABC so if you want to make your customer store so you can just create that store from this tab so now the next tab which is growth tab so i basically don't use this tab too much because in this growth tab amazon basically show the performance of your listing like how your listing are performing right now what steps you can do to grow your business or to grow your sales but to be honest this feature is not very beneficial for me i use some other feature to grow my business because this data i cannot find too much helpful so now move on to the next tab which is reports so this is the most important tab here because here you can just see the reports of your sales your daily sales your weekly sales your monthly sales and your payments like for example you are having four products and all of those four products having two variation of color variation and size variation so if you want to check the sales of each variation size wise and color wise for example you are having two shoes red shoes and black shoes 
and two sizes, small and large and small and large. So those will be four variations. And if you are getting 100 sales per day and you are confused, like for which color and which size you are getting sales. So the breakdown of all of those sales according to the size, variation, design and date you will get from this business reports. Like how many people click on that listing, how many people purchase and how many people return back without purchasing. So all of the insight and all of the data you will get in this business report and all of the information about payments like how much payment Amazon take from you for shipping, how much payment Amazon take from you for advertisement and how much payment Amazon deposited in your account. So all of the information about payment you will get from there. Now the second tab which is performance. If you want to check the performance of your account like account health like how many returns you are getting, how many customers are complaining about your product, are those customers happy or not and what is your account health. Like for example if your product quality is poor and too many customers are complaining about your product so your account health can be poor. So all of the thing about your account health and account performance you will be able to see in this performance tab. Like you can just check the feedback of your customer, you can just listen to voice of your customer like what your customer are saying about your product and now the next two point b2b and learn we can just leave and this tab brand is only helpful for all of those sellers who are actually brand registered seller because if you are having the trademark of your brand and if you are a brand registered seller on amazon then amazon will give you some extra feature for analysis of your product so as you can see here this account is not a branded account so i'm not able to see these feature on here but if your account is branded account, so in this brand tab, you will be able to see some features, some extra feature like brand analytics and all of that stuff. So you can just use those extra tool which can help you a lot in analyzing your sale. Like for example, you are getting 10 sales per day and your competitor are getting 20 sales per day. So those branded tool will show you like what is the difference between your listing performance and your competitor listing performance. So you can also copy that strategy. You can also do those improvement to increase your sale and at the end of the year, you can start getting the sales same as your competitor. So guys, this is the basic A to Z overview of your Amazon FBA seller central. And if you watch this video from beginning to end, then I'm sure that you will be able to completely understand how you can use Amazon seller central, how you can add product, how you can start getting sale, from where you can check sale, from where you can start marketing campaign, and from where you can download reports. So this was just the overview. If you want to learn each and every step in detail, step by step, then you can just find many videos on my YouTube playlist on each and every topic. So go there, watch those videos, and start your Amazon FB business now. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Thank you.